Welcome back everybody, the History Guy here. Welcome to episode 5, playing on the very early release alpha version of the medieval city building game Foundation. Now if you did not see the first four episodes, there is a link in the description below that will take you back so you can watch from the beginning and see how we got to this point. We are now over 100 people in our village, and we're at the stage now where I've at least built most things. Now, there are some things I haven't built yet, and we're going to try to get to those uh, as we're able to. Different unlockable buildings that we have not yet achieved, and we need a, a, a certain amount of splendor in each of the different categories. Uh, so, one of the things I'm going to do now is I'm going to start changing my focus to... Rather than building new things, but uh, rather than uh, do that to unlock the, the things we haven't built yet. Uh, so everything I do moving forward is going to be with balancing my, the needs of my settlers along with building the necessary uh, things to get those new things unlocked. So I'll be jumping in and out as I do those things so that you can kind of see the highlights. I just want you to be able to see some of those new buildings as they unfold. had a suggestion that I think is a very good one, which is to make this which is really almost like a second area of my settlement, a second neighborhood, if you will, up here where the ironworks are, uh, to make that a little more desirable. So to build some things accordingly, like markets and things like that, that are going to up my splendor, but also make this area a more desirable one for people to live in. So we can look at uh, some of our people who live there. And of course, right now, one of their big needs is worship. And we're going to unlock that need by eventually getting some of the newer religious buildings. We have two churches right now. And I guess in hindsight, maybe it would have been a good idea to build that second church up there somewhere. But it's not real far. I mean, I go to go way farther than that for church. But we've got our second church right here, um, right near where all our stone works are. We've got our bridge completed. And so now we're going to start building up a ton of stone, I think. So we'll jump in and out and kind of talk through some of the highlights of things as we move along further. All right, so we're working on our new market up here in the uh, kind of second settlement area of our town. And we've put tents on all of those stalls, so that's going to build up our um, our splendor points for those. And I'm going to do the same down here with the, uh, with the other market. I think we need to get tents on those stalls as well, because those tents are just little ways that we can, we can generate additional splendor points real easily. So we'll put a couple of green tents here. We'll get one more red tent going. So everybody will have tents over top of things. And I guess I don't have to hit start construction for that because it just automatically kind of happens. It's kind of weird. It looks like they're already there. Oh, there we go. Now we can hit start construction. That was kind of strange. Didn't give me that option a minute ago. So we've also got new villagers coming. We've got our second iron smelter going, which will be important moving forward uh, because I've been really low on iron so far. All right, so our, our market's complete. I just purchased some more territory here because I'm going to build one more church, and that should get me over that magic number for clergy to be able to build to unlock a new church, uh, the actual church, rather than just the rustic church. I also am adding another... A weaver hut because I'm seeing a bottleneck here between the amount of wool that I'm producing and the amount of woolen cloth that I'm producing. So I need to get caught up on cloth. I also noticed that we're completely maxed out on polished stone. So I'm going to look for some more things I can build with polished stone just to kind of bring that number down. And you can see bread completely maxed out on that too. Or actually completely reduced on my amount of bread. But it's coming back up. I think what happened was that the market uh, stalls all had to go and grab their stuff. Uh, so they kind of took a lot of those available resources, including wine, which I'm now out of. I'm going to have to start buying that a little more often. All right, so we have unlocked some new buildings. The stone set for the Lord Manor, uh, the treasury for the Lord Manor, and the bailiff office. So new things are on the horizon. I'm also... Uh, have begun construction of the new church, which is going to put me over 20 on those clergy splendor points, which will allow the new regular church rather than the rustic church. So it's time to replace the Lord Manor with the new Lord Manor. Uh, so I guess we don't necessarily have to tear the old one down, though I'm inclined to do so. 
it looks like the core is going to be remaining the same. It's still wood, so it's probably just a matter of adding on to that. Oh, here's stone main building right here. Okay, so we're going to build the stone main building for our Lord Manor. And you can see the, the maintenance cost and the, the total cost of the building go, building go up, but stone extension as well. It's kind of, you know, difficult to grasp exactly how you want to do some of this, but eventually it comes a little more handy. So I'll work on that a little bit and show you the finished product. All right, there we have it. We've got our treasury in here. We've also got our bailiff office. And I'm thinking we can probably keep the other one, and that'll just add to it rather than tearing the other one down. So let's go ahead and start construction on that. It's going to take 109 stone, 39 planks, and 32 tools. I don't think that'll be difficult to come up with. Uh, I had stockpiled a nice amount of stone, which I know a lot of it's going to the new church, but uh, actually doing pretty well on everything except wine at the moment. So we've got to, got to start finding a way to import some more wine. My people are lushes, apparently, and they're drinking a lot of it. All right, so I bought up some more property. I've uh, queued up some additional things. Another uh, wheat farm over here uh, near all of my wheat production areas. Uh, we're going to get some more gathering huts going here and over here as well across the bridge. I uh, just want to make sure I'm keeping ahead on the food as I continue to allow more people to come in. And it looks like another house is going up right here. And we're very nearly complete to the church. Uh, we're just waiting on these last couple of things to be done for that. We've got more villagers coming. We're at 114, which has 44 serfs, 38 commoners, 32 citizens. And I think that we're going to see some upgrades happening just as soon as this church is complete. That's going to allow some upgrades right here, I believe. Uh, I'm also working on importing honey and weapons. Uh, just as soon as the trader comes that we can buy those from, those are going to be some additional uh, supplies that I need, some additional types of resources that I'm not producing on my own. There's also herbs, which we'll get to fairly soon. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick at how the construction is coming on the manor. Oh, I asked, added a couple of uh, new fishing huts as well. Those are coming in, so we're definitely going to continue to need more workers to fill all of these needs. The manor is very nearly complete as well. All right, looks like our church is complete, and that's going to do a couple of things. One, it meets the needs of some of these villagers, which means we're going to probably start seeing upgrades there. Looks like we've got some other needs as well we're going to have to meet. But we also unlocked some new things. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Small stone wall as well as a church. Uh, so yeah, a wall is something we're going to have to build at some point. Please save your wall comments on that one. I know where you're going with that. Um, so let's think about an actual regular church now. We don't really need another church, but I at least want to take a look at that. And at some point we're going to build it. So we've got uh, round tower, big tower, small tower, arch, cross, door, gargoyle, stained glass. I am super excited about this. It may mean that we're going to probably go ahead and tear this monstrosity down right here and replace it with something. But I'm going to stockpile some of my goods first, uh, some of the things I need. And I want to see exactly what it's going to cost to build this. Tools are going to be a big issue. Stone, wood planks. Uh, I've got a lot of other projects that need built right now that require those tools. So we're going to work on those first before we start building the new church. God would appreciate it if you were to build a monument to his splendor. All right, so he wants me to build a church, and that's going to give me 100 gold and... 10 more clergy points. All right, fine, I'll do it. I hope you don't give me a timeline on that. Okay, you haven't, so perfect. So we'll get on that. There's another gathering hut done, so that's going to be a new place for me to assign some of my new workers that are coming in. I've only got one available right now, but I've got a lot of people that I assigned as builders that I could probably switch over to being foragers instead. All right, there we go. All right, so our new farmer's hut is complete. Our uh, farmer is complete. Our new uh, gatherer hut over here is complete. And our new lord manor is now complete as well. And we get to name a bailiff. So this is kind of cool. 
We've got three candidates for bailiff. We've got Johnny, who appears to be a, a woman named Johnny, uh, who's 21 years old. The bonus provided is that she her happiness is less impacted by 10%. Looks like that's the same for both of those. Market revenues are increased by 10% if we nominate Mary. So Mary it is, but she gets a salary of five gold per week, and we'll be happy to do that. But we're also going to assign some soldiers to that when I'm able to do that. Uh, my capacity is now 2,700 gold, but we're in the negative right now. And the main reason for that is I went in and I jacked up the number of uh, tools that I bought through trade because I was desperate for more tools. But I am uh, going to remedy that by building another blacksmith up here in our iron working area. And uh, that should kind of alleviate some of the issue there. Uh, next things, I guess, will be to... Oh, good. The envoy is here just in time to make me another thousand gold that I need. So we're going to assign our soldiers for that. And that'll get some more, some more gold. Some more wine and all the fun stuff that goes with that. So I'm trying desperately to keep up with the uh, the food needs that I have with all of these new villagers that are coming. I may be at the place where, once again, I'm going to halt immigration for just a little while until I get caught up on some things. Got another fisherman we can assign. There we go. All right, who can we help here? What do you want? Bread. All right, I'm actually going to... How much bread? We've got 24, so I guess we can do that. Yeah, it looks like this is the way to go. So we'll have to stockpile that bread. All right, so this is kind of exciting. We're about to build a huge church. It's going to allow for 31 more villagers to worship. Most importantly, it's got 75 splendor points. Uh, it's going to require some stained glass, which we'll have to find a way to import. It's going to require 106 tools, which will not be cheap. Uh, and you can actually go with different themes as far as the colors go. So that's kind of awesome as well. Um, but it appears I probably needed to do the themes before I started building. So um, I guess we'll just go with... No, we'll go with red. Red sounds kind of cool. No, nah, blue. Blue it is. All right, I'm being a little fickle on my uh, choices here. But there you have it. So we'll go ahead and get that built and we'll see what that looks like. Obviously, a lot of points coming my way. We've got a lot of kingdom points now as well. Once I get enough splendor in the kingdom area, I will be able to unlock the hunter's hut, which we don't have yet. And we can also start building a wall at some point. But as much as I keep extending the size of my village, I feel like building a wall would just constrain me at this point. So I don't know. We can build outside of it, I guess. All right. Things are moving along nicely. Our blue church is nearly complete. Uh, we've got our beautiful stained glass window there, which uh, technically doesn't exist yet because we haven't imported the glass, though I have an order for that. Uh, so, you know, it's just right now still a matter of kind of managing all the resources. I'm selling off all this excess polished stone because there's very few things that, are, that need polished stone, so I, I've largely been selling that. Um, I also don't have a means of getting honey because uh, there's a way to sell honey, but there's not a place to buy honey in the trading right now. So we're just continuing to manage resources as we continue to build some of these new things. Uh, another sheep farm's complete out here. There's our quest complete, so we're getting in that money. Uh, I'm finally kind of caught up on bread. Uh, continue to just be really low in a lot of areas, but happiness is at 83 right now. Uh, there's very few needs, and the needs that exist are only needed by a few people. Uh, so you see we've actually got our first citizen in our northern area of the village. And we're also building another fountain because I needed to do something with all that polished stone. Uh, so we'll probably wrap this episode up once uh, a couple of these things are built, especially the church. Which I'm just desperately waiting for that stained glass to arrive. And a few other things and we'll be ready to go with that. Alright, well our church is complete. Stained glass windows and all. Looking very blue, looking very tall. We'll eventually add on to it with some smaller pieces to make it look a little more uh, presentable. Did I not put a door in this church? 
It appears I may not have put a door in the church. I'm surprised it let me construct it without a door, but um, it is allowing faithful attendance, so maybe I did put a door. Maybe I just covered it up. I don't know. We're going to add another door just to be safe, just to make sure that things are happening as they should. So let's get that door constructed, the one stone that is required to make it happen. But you can see here now, we've got 97 splendor points. So I've been able to unlock a monastery, the herb garden, the copy room uh, for the monastery, and the apiary. So a lot of new things have been opened up. Uh, now we got to work on our kingdom points and get that splendor built up. So that may require building another keep, a larger one, to get some points. Uh, we've got a very thriving village right now. Things are going pretty well. Really not a lot else to report. We're expanding this way. I've also added a forester, which will be going in right here. And we're going to reforest this whole area right here so that we've got some accessible trees uh, for the cutting down. Looks like some more houses going up. Uh, happiness is back up. It's back up to 86 now. Uh, we've got villagers lacking basic things like clothing, so we've got to deal with that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take a look. I accidentally closed all of my little windows here, so we'll deal with all of that and then come back. All right, well, our forester is at work for the first time and going to start reforesting this area as well as I just got, gone ahead and, and allowed them to start cutting down these trees so you can see they're coming for those ones. I didn't have those in the extraction zone. We made the repair to the church to allow a doorway so people can come in and worship a little easier. I've also started building a little bit of a wall here. And you can see the wall. Uh, I built a small wall. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what that allows for uh, thus far. But uh, I'm kind of looking at that. I would assume that that would add to my... It does. Significantly adds to my... No, it doesn't. I thought maybe it would add to my Kingdom Splendor, but it doesn't so far. So I'll have to look into that a little more. But we got some more houses coming. We've got some more uh, villagers on their way. I've built another charcoal burner. Another fountain is now complete up in here, so that's going to make this area a little more attractive and a little more beautiful. Uh, we were running low on coal, so that's why I added the second charcoal burner, so we can get more folks assigned to that here. We don't have enough folks for that at the moment, but right now I do have a little bit of everything, so that's the good news. And we'll continue to work. Uh, what else do we want to build? Oh, a monastery. Let's take a look at that. Monastery is going to take a lot of smooth stone, which I actually have some of. I've been selling a lot of it, but I guess now we actually have a use for it. So, oh my goodness, there are a lot of things available for a monastery. I'm thinking I want some space for this. We want a nice big area where we can build the monastery. So, um, okay, maybe right over here, and then we'll probably eventually tear down this little church right here. This looks like a nice spot for a monastery right by the river. So I'm going to go ahead and play with this a little bit. Uh, obviously, you've got the first part. You've got the Abbey A and Abbey B. You can go blue or purple with those. I think we'll probably stick with blue just because that's been my color so far. We've got the Cloister Corners. Man, you can really have a lot of fun with building this up. So uh, we'll play with that a little bit. There's the Ippy area right there. So I'll come back once I've got a monastery in mind. All right, so I think I've got a basic for my monastery, kind of a basic design here. It's going to be blue. We've added the herb garden and the apiary here or there, so uh, those are going to allow me to start producing herbs, I would imagine. So that's some good news. Uh, there's a lot of things I didn't add. Um, we've got dorms here. I guess we could add those. We'll put those right off to the side there. Um, nah, let's do that right. Can we make it a separate building? Sometimes you can do that. With an, yep, with the monastery. We'll, we'll put the dorms out there. So I decided to put it over here on this little island. Uh, so I've got plenty of space to kind of add on to it. Monasteries were often these sprawling complexes with uh, multiple buildings uh, within them. So obviously there's a lot of room for, for that to happen here. Let's see. I think that'll work. Um, but I'm going to add that over on this other side. And we'll, we'll turn it. Uh turned a little too far there we go all right so there's our tower that we'll put right there uh, the fireplace is there kind of in between maybe that's not the best place for a fireplace when the tower is right there so maybe we move that and then we put the fireplace I don't know right over here on the edge somewhere 
All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and start construction. Construction. We can always add more to it later. It's going to take 555 smooth stone, which I've been selling all of that off. So I guess I need to stop selling it and start producing it again. It's going to take 300 uh, planks, 152 tools, and 20 stained glass, as well as 195 stone and 20 gold. So uh, not a cheap project by any means. It's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of time that probably won't be done in this episode. Uh, so that's the next thing is a monastery. Uh, we're going to, I guess I probably should have made this church a little longer because I made it kind of fat and wide. Um, so eventually maybe we'll add on to this church here and it's a nice central spot. So it probably allows me to eventually tear down some of the other churches that I have, but we're on, uh, on pace to add a lot of new nice things, so I'm pretty excited about this. Next, we've got to get these kingdom points so we can get those new things as well. So the never-ending quest to keep all your resources managed is continuing, and my common clothes are getting low, so I've queued up another tailor to be built right over here in my kind of my cloth section of my town. I've also begun the process of building another farm because I know that as I allow more people to immigrate, Food continues to be more and more of an issue. With that, I've also queued up another stone uh, stone cutter as well as another gathering site uh, to go ahead and extract these resources that are right here. You can see the uh, monastery is coming along quite nicely. Uh, it's being built quite a bit already. We still need 190 stone, 147 tools, but uh, they're working nicely on that and there was one other thing I think I just queued up as well another stone mason so we can produce more of those smooth stone because even if I max out on what I'm uh, what I'm storing once the monastery is complete there's always the ability to sell those for a profit now I'm, I'm making a decent amount of money right now I'm staying in the black so that's good one thing I haven't talked about that I want to show real quick is that there's this little button here when you click on a construction site that you can click on it says prioritize building construction so if there's a building you want to make sure gets built before others for example i want these uh stonemasons to be done before the monastery because the stonemason will help supply what i need to make the monastery so uh, we want to prioritize those things uh, likewise you can also click on a particular construction project and pause it uh, so that the builders will go work on other things uh, so that's kind of what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and, and prioritize some of these other building projects, put a pause on the monastery until we've got all these extra resources being produced. All right, we're about to complete the wheat farm. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact there's a guy named Merlin in my village? I really wish he was some kind of wizard or something. He just build things for me real quickly, but all right, we gotta what we gotta do now is um kind of switch some folks over here because I've got a ton of builders right now because I have a lot of buildings that need done but uh, I want to switch a couple of them over builder is kind of my default because there's no limit to the number of builders you can have but uh, well, farmer not forager so whenever new villagers come and they're unemployed that's kind of where I put them is uh, starting at builder and then as I have other needs I switch them over and I have a lot of building projects right now so a lot of builders are needed I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Beginning of the next episode, we'll be completing our monastery. And then we'll switch focus to building some more keeps and things like that. Maybe continue to build that wall. But as always, let me know your thoughts, what you think. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, maybe things I haven't covered, I'd be glad to do that for you. And uh, please, as always, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. That'll let you know anytime I upload a new video. Right now, it's one a day, but sometimes two a day. Uh, I, got, I have a lot of extra time right now, so I'm trying to get caught up on some things. So a lot of video is going to be coming your way, and I tend to upload them at different times of the day just to kind of maybe have an opportunity to expose the channel to new folks. So, as always, thank you, and we will see you again real soon.